Did you know that you can jump up to blocks without any potion? Or that you can farm in lapis and redstone? These are some of the 16 minecraft tricks that you need to know. Using power the rails, the faster you can go is 8 blocks per second. Which don't seem that good for transportation because while sprinting, you can achieve 5.5 blocks per second. But using this method, you can literally break this number, going insanely quick. There's a few options for this, but the faster and cheaper is by doing this combination. Which is not that hard and worth a lot. So if you want to become the flesh in a minecraft world, I really recommend doing this. Did you know that it's possible to survive if you are falling from 100 blocks tall with no Nothing hands? Well, you know that you can make a MLG to survive to any fall damage, like using water buckets, slime, powdered snow, boat, leather, and stuff like that. But recently, there's this new glitch that you can make a MLG with literally nothing. The only thing you have to do is just throw from at least 35 blocks tall, sprint before falling, hold jump in the air, and press shift before you touch the floor. And you're gonna bounce, making that you take absolutely no fall damage without using nothing. It's so annoying when you try to sleep to pass the night and you get this message. <laughs> yeah, I know, a single mob can make you get frustrated. And when they are hiding, is even worse, but you can solve that just by placing the bed on the water, and magically you can sleep without getting the annoying message. Unless they have any drowns clothes, you'll be fine. And watch out for phantoms, because they apparently can go on the water. How to get the biggest amount of diamonds? In 1.19, our distribution changed to something like this, meaning that in these areas you have more chance to find diamonds. But how does it work? Diamond generation starts in Y14 and get more common the deeper you go. Diamond ore is more frequent unexposed to air, meaning if you find some diamonds in any cave exposed, you probably have one or two. Not a big vein of 6 or 9 that you can only be found by strip mine. Underwater caves and aquifers have a lot of diamonds exposed, where you can find the big veins of diamonds. Their spawn will not be in contact with air, but with water, and it's still gonna be visible for players. So if you want to find the biggest amount of diamonds, this is the best way. This is a OP glitch that you can use in many situations to protect yourself. It's basically a glitch using the shield, where you can use it without pressing nothing. The only thing you have to do is just to activate the shield right before you get in the nether portal. So when you get in the other side, the shield should be active, even don't look like. With that, mobs and players can't hit you. If you are playing in your minecraft world for a long time and don't wanna keep mining to get redstone and lapis, this farm can be the solution. It's called the gift farm. Basically, when you save village of raids, you get the effect to hero the village. And there's a small chance of the village start dropping some gifts. And each job will drop a different gift. But the most useful is the cleric, that drop you redstone and lapis. The amount of drop will depend on the level of the effect. The maximum possible is 5. And by combining it with a bad domain farm and a hero the village farm that can be made in the outpost village, you can get these resources pretty quick. And you can get a big amount of villagers to make sure they drop you a lot of items when you get close. Just put hoppers in the floor to get the drops and have fun. Did you know that it's actually possible to get the elytra before to kill the end dragon? Well, to get the elytra you need to go to the end cities, which takes thousands of blocks away from the end spawn. This trick got pretty known because in one of his manhunt videos, Dream made it to the end cities. You can do this by bridging over the void or even doing a fly machine to take you there, just like Dream did. Then you can just go to the end cities, get the loot and the elytra without beating the end dragon, which is pretty crazy. Don't throw potions like this to the bottom. It will not get the best performance of the potion. Instead, throw it up, which will make with the potion be active for a longer time. Did you know that you can jump up to blocks without any effect from potion or beacon? In older Minecraft versions, you could make this by using fire, so you would get a jump boost. But unfortunately, this is not possible anymore. But we can jump one and a half blocks high, meaning you can jump over fences. But there is a way to jump over two blocks. That is by using a bow with the effect punch two and shoot at yourself with the arrow. So if you're out of blocks, this is a nice solution. Did you know that it's possible to make any seed grow faster without using any bone meal only by using bees. When the bees go to flowers, they start dropping these particles called the pollen. And when they drop it on the farm, it gets fertilized, meaning that your vegetables can grow faster. It may not be very useful, but definitely is a fun fact. So if you need your vegetables grow faster, make them under a beehive. Or just use bone meal. There's a lot of ways to make hiding doors, but this one is another level. Using mine cards and bolts, you can sort of move yourself without actually walking. We can click on them through water or even lava. Knowing that, we can make some hiding bases. Just place a minecart behind our lava wall, making it be able to access by outside. Simple like that. So if you want to make a hiding base, this is very helpful. Walking the nether can be hard, because there's a lot of lava rivers. If you have a elytra, you can pass easily. But if this is not the case, this machine can be helpful. It only takes a few minutes to create and it can help you to make bridges of the lava. Basically, when the lava gets in contact with blue ice and soul soil, it generates a basalt. And adding this to a fly machine, we can make this easy and nice bridge of the lava. It's easy to be lost in this huge minecart world, but maps can be helpful. One thing that you probably didn't know is that you can use a flag to easily mark some spots, like a house, a cave and stuff like that. It's useful when you want to tell your friends some specific areas when they join to your map. This can be a guide to your friends. In Minecraft Bedrock, you can breed horses using speed effect, and the next babies will have the effect applied, and it's stack over generations, meaning you can repeat this process to go even faster to every time you breed them. You can also use jump boost effect to make your horse jump super high. It also works with any mob that need to be tamed, like pig, wolves, 
mobs or even the strider. Did you know that it's possible to get mobs away from your home using carpet? Using a string and the carpet on top will make it the mobs don't pass through, but you can. Making like a place protect of mobs. They literally stop when get close. You can also use as layer plants and rails. But this is really the best way because it's a very discreet way to keep mobs away. Did you know that you can keep up your hunger bar forever? First of all, you need to make sure you have food to keep the hunger bar up. If you simply hit a mob while you're holding your sprint key and keep sprinting, you're not losing any hunger forever. It's a glitch that can be used in speedruns or... Yeah, just that. I took so long to make this video. So if you learned something new, please consider subscribing and bye.